Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Mansi, board certified dermatologist who's been in your shoes. I know how confusing Indian skin and skincare can get, so let's simplify it together. Today we're going to talk about those bumps and spots on your face, which you may look at and be like, what's this? So let's dive deep into it. By the end of this video, you'll not only know what these spots are, but what causes it and how to treat them. Let's get started. If you want to watch this video in Hindi, click the i card. First, we'll talk about one of the most common ones, that is DPN or Dermatosis papulosa nigra. These are black or brown spots that appear on your face, neck and even the upper chest. Now DPNs are typically genetic which means if one of your parents has them you have a higher chance of getting them but they are completely harmless and pose no risk. However, if you want to get them removed there are several treatment options. Treatments for DPN include cryotherapy where we freeze the lesion with liquid nitrogen, radiofrequency electrocautery or lasers where we burn off the DPN, but these procedures are absolutely safe and have no downtime. You may see a scab develop where your DPN was, but this scab will fall off, usually without leaving any mark. You may experience some irritation or redness in the area, but that subsides within a few days. Next, we'll talk about skin tags. Skin tags are also known as masse in Hindi. These are soft skin-colored growths, which are commonly seen on the folds of the body. So the neck, the armpit, and even on the eyelid. They can even appear on the groin. Like DPN, skin tags are also mostly harmless. However, sometimes they could get caught in jewellery or clothing, in which case they could become painful. In these cases, or if they bother you visually, it's best to get them removed. The cause for skin tags is not exactly known, but research suggests that it could be due to insulin resistance, obesity or even friction. The treatment for skin tags includes cryotherapy, electrocautery or radiofrequency, removal by laser or even surgical excision with scissors. But do not use the same scissors you have at home. These are specific surgical scissors and the procedure is done under aseptic conditions to avoid any infection. There are no creams available. We often get asked if we can just prescribe a cream instead. So I want to clarify that there are no creams available that can treat your skin tags. All of these procedures are pretty straightforward and done in an OPD setup, meaning there is no need for admission. Next, we have warts. Warts are actually a viral infection. A lot of people use warts and skin tags interchangeably, but please remember, warts are a completely different thing. They occur due to human papilloma virus infection. Warts can appear anywhere on the body, including even your palms and soles. When they have a rough outer surface, they are known as veruca vulgaris. When they have a plain, flat outer surface, they are known as veruca plana. It's important to know that because this is a viral infection, this is infectious and can spread from person to person and from one part of the body to another. It's extremely important to treat warts if they turn painful and to prevent their spread. The treatment for warts includes cryotherapy, electrocautery, salicylic acid solution applications, this is not the same 2% salicylic acid serum that you may have at home or surgical excision. Some doctors may even offer a few injections like MMR or PPD to inject into the ward. But remember that no matter what treatment option you opt for, while these are treatable, some warts are stubborn and may require multiple sessions. Now let's talk about cherry angiomas. These are bright red or purple dots which are usually seen on the trunk. That means your chest, abdomen or back. These are actually a cluster of blood vessels that you see on the skin. Cherry angiomas appear as we age and are mostly harmless. They do not cause any symptoms, but if they bother you visually, they can be removed. Removal options for cherry angioma include laser therapy or electrocautery. Next, we have melia. Melia are small white bumps that appear on your face, more likely on the under eye area. These get formed when dead skin cells are trapped underneath the surface of the skin, but are completely harmless. Melia are not specific to any age or gender and can occur at any time. For treating melia, gentle exfoliation can help, as can prescription tretinoin creams. But in stubborn cases, your dermatologist may opt to extract the melia with a needle in the clinic. Then we have xanthelasma. Xanthelasma are yellowish patches that are seen on the eyelids, more commonly on the upper eye. These are actually cholesterol deposits and can be a sign of high cholesterol levels in your blood. If you start noticing xanthelasma, it's a good idea to get your lipid profile checked so that you understand your cholesterol levels. The treatment for xanthelasma can involve chemical peels, extraction or laser. But if the cause for xanthelasma is high cholesterol levels, you will need to first get them under control with medications. Syringomas. These are flesh-colored bumps that typically appear on the under eye area. They are benign growths of the sweat ducts and most commonly seen in young adults, but can be removed if they bother you visually. Treatment options include electrocautery, cryotherapy or lasers. Lastly, we'll talk about seborrheic keratosis. You may have seen a famous actor with seborrheic keratosis. 
these are hyperpigmented growths that appear like they are stuck onto the surface of your skin. They can be thick, waxy or warty growths that are commonly seen as you age. While they can look alarming, they are completely harmless and just a natural part of the aging process. Treatment options for seborrheic keratosis include cryotherapy, curettage or scraping it off or electrocautery. While the removal process is quite straightforward, if you have multiple seborrheic keratosis or they are stubborn, you could require multiple sessions. Lastly, we have melanomas. Melanomas are a type of skin cancer. While all of the bumps I've explained before this are benign and completely harmless, you must still be on the lookout for any moles, bumps or spot that seems suspicious. So here is the ABCD of melanoma, which you must look out for. A is for asymmetry, if one half of the melanoma does not match the other half. B is for borders, that is if your bump or spot has irregular, ragged, notched or blurred borders. C is for the color. If the bump or spot does not have an even color distribution throughout, which is of brown, blue, black, pink, tan or grey. D is for the diameter, if your bump is more than 6 mm in size. And lastly, E is for evolution. That means if you think your bump is evolving, so if it has changed in the last few months or weeks. Keeping these ABCDs in mind will help you differentiate the harmless bumps from skin cancer. Even though all of these bumps are harmless, if any one of them is causing any discomfort or pain, it is important to visit your dermatologist immediately and get them checked. Early diagnosis and treatment can help prevent unnecessary complications. Regularly checking your skin for any new growths or bumps is a very good habit. And if you notice something that looks suspicious, don't ignore it. A timely consultation with your dermatologist will not only keep your skin healthy, but also give you peace of mind. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button. If there's any topic you would want me to cover, please drop it in the comments. Thank you for tuning in and see you in the next video.